What's up everybody, it's your boy Hima and in this video we're gonna talk about gold. Alright, I know I couldn't post last week. Um I was being I was really busy with Valentine's actually um not doing Valentine's stuff but actually working. And of course uh you know mental health state is actually it was kinda low uh because my mom is uh, going through a surgery so I wasn't really feeling like making any content but I am here right now and we're gonna talk about gold actually the reason why I'm talking about gold in this video is that uh, it recently uh, break down the 200 uh, moving the average line and um, it's currently in a bear market and this might be a really good chance for you to look into gold if you really if you are someone who's looking to buy gold uh, as a um, you know a hedge against inflation in your portfolio all right so we're gonna look into the charts first and um, before we continue please hit the subscribe button and the like button if you guys are enjoying the videos i'm really grateful if you're learning something from these videos i'm really happy so if you think that <coughs> you're learning something and you're enjoying these videos please hit the subscribe button i will bring amazing content in the coming days and you know uh, so here's the thing in Australia or anywhere in the world uh, if you want to buy gold there are three options for you all right the first is you can buy gold through an ETF an exchange traded fund uh, so usually there are gold bullions like the Morgan JP Morgan Chase uh, bullion you have the uh, South Australian government gold bullion so these gold bullions are somewhat connected to these exchange traded funds so that pe people could get the exposure they want with gold through the stock exchange like the ASX or NASDAQ or whatever. Of course, then they, you have the second option is actually owning a gold mining company again through a stock market. Um, so you have Newcrest Mining, uh, Pibra Mining in Australia and you have uh, a lot of gold mining companies uh, in the you know, US and Canada and there are so many gold uh, mining companies. The third way, is, which is the one, one way that I prefer the most, is of course buying physical gold. Physical gold is basically, you know, you could say a chain is also physical gold, but I'm talking about gold bricks and gold coins. Of course, I will talk about Australian companies and that are Melbourne based that you could actually go and uh, purchase gold. Uh, so again, we're going to do ETFs first and then we're going to do um, gold mining companies. And then lastly, we're going to look at places where you could go and buy physical gold. And before we do all of that, I want to show you guys where the gold price is right now at. Um, so let's look into it so so we are at gold futures and this software is tradingview.com uh you just try typing this in google and then go and type c gc1 all right so we had a really we recently if you can see over here hold on let me get my spotlight tool all right so here if you can see this uh, 1899 dollars mark this was in 2011 where gold had a really really good run from 2006 to 2011 and it kind of came down kind if, if you can see we, we have a small accumulation for i don't know at least two three years and then gold took up again and that run ended in 2020 august all right so during the march crash which is over here i think um gold actually took i think this is about 20 percent maybe much so this is the march crash um gold had a nice 30 a 37 or 40 percent run from that march crash so if we had bought gold in March, when it crashed to $1,400, you would have made 40% from that trade alone. Um, before we continue, I must tell you that um, I'm actually looking to buy gold. I kind of want this price to go even further down. Maybe um, we're going to draw support and resistance lines to find out where the price might end up. 
um, which will indicate a really good buying price. So I'm thinking of buying gold. I'm not gonna buy right now. Um, I'm waiting for it to come down so I could buy it at a better place. And the reason why I'm buying it is I think the inflation is creeping in and think there will be a credit squeeze in the future. So it's better to have gold um, as a hedge against inflation. Well, you know, Warren Buffett said that the S&P 500 has out outperformed gold, uh, but you know, gold has been around for thousands of years. We know it was a uh, fame, uh, like a famous form of method to store value and wealth. So I'm gonna put my bets on gold. So that's why I'm thinking of buying gold, maybe five thousand dollars or six thousand dollars. I wouldn't go further higher up than that um, but of course I, I really want it to come down so that's why I'm waiting and if you're someone who's looking to buy gold please consider what I just said okay so we are right now at $1783 so this is US not Australian um, so let's do a small Fibonacci to figure out where we might get a good buying price so when you do Fibonacci you always uh, look for the lowest point and then you want to put the other pointer in the highest point so of course the highest point is this uh, $2,000 mark and we'll just do it from the March crash or you can do it from August uh, 2018 and uh, that's a really low too so we'll I'm just gonna do it from uh, from March mm, retracement so we had this March low and voila so usually um this green area this 0.382 and 0.5 percent is look you don't have to get when you when you're doing these kind of things like fibonacci and support resistance of course you have you can learn further up um you know in depth uh but to make things simple this is what you need to know this is how i understand it of course you're more than welcome to do individual research on all of these tools and you should but if you're just starting out remember you always start the fibonacci at the lowest level that you could think possible in this case case i use uh, march and then you draw the other point to you take it to the recent highest point which is of course august and then you get like this is a re fibonacci retrace you have the uh, Fibonacci extension tool as well, which I'll uh, tell you about it uh, when I'm doing it. I'm actually, actually using Fibonacci extension. And so basically this green area, as you can see, um, let me get a spotlight. Yeah, so this green area, I'm gonna zoom in. This green area is, when you, when you uh, put on trades, this green area is basically, telling you if the price comes down to this area it's a good time to buy in right now but with the goal is so now this is actually in a really good buying area and the other significant thing that i want to tell you guys is that this beautiful cup and handle formation that we are seeing right now so cup and handle is a bullish pattern that means this is gonna go further up if and when is a question mark but if you can see i'll draw it um so over here the cup and we have the handle usually the scenario would be this would take be taking off like that um so that's the second significant thing that i want to tell you of course the volume is always high because gold is being traded daily as we speak um so you can't expect volume to be that way and um so yeah ba pretty much um and of course the other thing is the reason why i'm in the short term perspective bearish on gold um is this reason basically um this green line is 200 moving the average so usually if the price is trading below this line that means we are in a bear market if it's trading above that line we, that means we are in a bull market so in the short term perspective we are in a bear market which gives us a really good opportunity to actually thinking of buying i personally think that this will come down even further 1600 is my psychological mark of course and that's a really good uh, price 
to buy in and of course you have your support and resistance lines if you draw um i think so this is a good support line i don't think it'll ever come down to thousand dollars and of course you have um this this whole area this you can see there's a small accumulation over here and then it took off so i think this is a really good support line as well again i don't personally think that it would come down to 1400 and 47 dollars mark um i personally think that it would come down to 1600 uh, which is a really good buying point again i'm personally thinking of buying gold for the long term th thinking five six years but if you want to trade gold in the short short term press perspective um i don't think you should be buying in right now um because it won't be going up anytime soon uh, let it come down a bit so again it's up to you but i'm personally going long on gold and i'm long i'm bullish on gold in the long term uh but if you want to do short term trade i would not be buying gold right now okay so this accumulation uh, over here is a good indication that this is their support and resistance in this whole zone so 1600 is my psychological mark if it gets to that point i'm definitely buying it even if it doesn't uh right now this is also a really good price to buy in uh, again it doesn't matter like if you're going long on gold it's a precious metal it's been there for thousands of years so you know if you're going long it doesn't really matter when you're buying it but of course i'm waiting to buy it at a really good price i think um 1600 is good um so that's the thing i usually talk a lot in the uh, technical aspect because most people they st get stuck in fundamentals and you don't really look after the technical side and you have to you have to look where the price is heading and where it's supposed to heading that's why technical analysis is important all right so that's why i do the charts now we realize that the price is currently in a bear market it's coming down it should come down to 1600 so let's say it did and this is also a really good buying price right now let's say it did now you should the question that you should ask yourself is how can i buy gold i told you three options all right the first option is an exchange traded fund an exchange traded fund is basically there's there's, there's a gold, gold bullion somewhere all right a bullion is basically a curve you know like a reserve of gold um it could be in south australia america anywhere and they usually say okay we want people to have exposure to this gold bullion so we're gonna make a exchange traded fund uh so that people could buy or sell gold at any given time they want all right so currently there are few there are there are so many ETFs available but there are a few ETFs that I want to point out that you should consider buying um, if you can, if you are the ETF kind of person. I personally don't like ETFs, but some people like it. I'm not going to tell you which one is the best. That's not really my job, um, but I could just give you options. All right. If you are buying ETFs, of course, please do your own research. Um, ETFs aren't bad, but for me, I'm not someone who buys and deals with ETFs all right so there are a few ETFs you have the beta gold ETF uh, which is kind of mimicking the gold price right now it is traded at $16 yes it's cheap you don't necessarily have to pay the full price that you pay for gold when you buy an ETF and it's controlled by beta shares so beta shares is basically a um, managed fund that gives you exposure to hundreds of different uh, products like you got, you got your gold ETFs, you got your technology ETFs, you got your uh, you know crops ETFs. Basically, an ETF is they have like the point of buying an ETF is so that you diversify. All right. So in this case, uh, they have a gold bullion. I think this is the JP Morgan Chase gold bullion, and I'll put the link below so you can read it. I've never owned this. Um, I do not think I'll be getting into an ETF because I'm not an ETF kind of guy. 
um, but this is actually really good looking good is mimicking the price right now uh, of the physical goals for forming this cup and handle as i shown you before so it's i think let it go down a bit as well uh, if you do a fibonacci uh, from march which is over here and uh, yeah so we are right now it's indicating that we are we should be in a good buying area I would personally wait for it to go down a bit, all right? And this is a really good thing that you should consider um, if you if you want to buy an ETF, if you feel like, you know, I don't want to buy gold, um, physical gold, so I'm just gonna uh, buy an exchange trade of fund and hold it in the long term. So it's up to you, um, you know, I understand. I will do actually a breakdown on what an ETF is in future videos, but for the sake of this video, I don't want this to drag long. It's already long, so let's move on. The other um, ETF is of course the gold, kind of mimicking the gold price. Um, if you think about it, yeah. So the JP Morgan Chase and custodian bank walls in london so these are the goal that they give you exposure to here's the thing the reason why i don't prefer etfs i'm not saying they're bad there's always a third party involved which is when you buy physical gold you know it's it's just you and the gold with an etf just just you know there's bank involved of course the asx is involved it's just to me it feels like i'm not gripping the full benefits of something when i'm buying an etf but at the same time you go for an etf for diversification for safety and because etfs are cheap all right um again really good option for you to consider if you don't want to buy a physical board all right so the next is basically you could just um you know if you want to want exposure for gold you can just own a gold mining company through the asx so they also there are stocks that they might of mining companies that predominantly focus on finding and mining gold now there are a few advantages and disadvantages of course uh, the advantages would be they're the first one to have the exposure of gold so they kind of have the upper hand in terms of controlling the market and you know they and a company with a company if it's a good company they'll also provide you dividend with the capital gain um and the other thing is if the price is going up they're the first one to be benefited from it so you have that option disadvantages would be actually with gold mining companies with most of mining companies some of them actually haven't found gold and some of them actually have so there are a lot of geological aspects uh, that you should consider before buying a mining company and you need a geologist to read these reports and all of this nitty-gritty geologic stuff before you buy in a mining company so i'm currently also looking for a geologist so if you guys know a geologist please let me know uh, because i want him or her to read the mining reports um, so I could get a better idea where this company is actually. So that's, if you don't really know what a mining company does, they say that they have gold, but deep down, we don't really know what's going on unless we don't, like we have to learn how to read those reports. So that's the only issue that I see with gold mining companies. If you, But again, if you can find a geologist or someone who knows how to read those reports, you are clear. And of course, sure, they do benefit when, when the price goes up. If the price is going down, they'll be the first to get the hit. That's the other thing. Um, and yeah, so that's the other thing. And you got few mining companies um, in the Australian Stock Exchange that you should consider that they're, they're predominantly doing gold. Um, of course, Nucleus Mining. I'm pretty sure you've heard about it. NCM. Let's look at the chart. Okay, uh, so I've drawn a trend line. It's following a trend line. So this is actually a really good place for you to buy right now as well. We are on the trend line as 
as you know, Trend is your friend. Other company is Northern Star Resources. NSP. Yeah. Okay. So this is Northern Star Resources. It's also a mining company um, that operates in the ASX. So you can just check this out. I haven't done re any research researches on these companies. I don't personally own them. I do own Fortis Q Metal, uh, but they are mainly iron or they are gold. So this is a gold mining company, of course. You can consider please do your research i'm not gonna do individual videos on these companies um right now but i will in the future um so many content to make and um so this is one thing that you should consider please do your own research it looks like it's currently following a trend if you can draw a trend line one two three yeah so which is a good thing uh, and the other company is evolution mining so these three companies have a larger market cap so that means they are really good uh, when it comes to cash and you need cash to actually do all of this exploration and things so if you are a new newbie and if you want to put money on gold mining make sure to pick a really good company with a large market cap and of course do your research check their ab uh, check their net profit after tax check their results go through that and of course finally look the charts so these two companies northern new crest and northern star are looking good in looking good in the chart um of course the volume is consistent um i would wait for it to come down a bit yeah definitely before buying it and of course the last one i want to talk about is evolution mining So this is evolution mining same story it's following a trend just like those companies and we know trend is your friend so again volume is looking good looks good in the charts i do not know the fundamentals of the company so I'm, if you are considering buying these companies please do read those i do not buy into anything without reading them i would this is looking really good this one specifically looking really good from the charts one two three if you want to draw a trend line always remember you need these three dips one you have one two three and then four so if you can do like it has to have three dips for you to uh, complete a trend line so that's basically what a trend line is so this is on a bullish uh, uptrend if it's a downtrend usually um you have three tops coming down all right i will do videos on these ones with real life examples so this one is looking good i would honestly wait if it come breaks this trend line because gold prices is going down um that's when you should be worried but again patience patience is the key uh it looks good on the chart in perspective of course read up on the companies now lastly where can you buy physical gold in australia now let me close all of these tabs the first and foremost Perth Mint. sure you can buy this in the stock market as well um i did a small term trade and i made like 150 bucks and i sold this stock uh because i my interest in gold became actually i wanted i thought like you know what i'm gonna get the physical gold now with physical gold it's a bit tricky and you have to listen to me when i'm, when I'm saying this you can own what you have to do is basically make an account and you could order online i know you could go to go and visit these people in south australia so they have tons of products um shop you go gold and then so you have gold coins i'm pretty sure they have gold, gold bars as well so you could buy you know from anything to like it's gold coins silver coins yeah so you could buy gold bars and they, they're currently asking for a 2260 uh eight dollars per ounce 
so that's not a gram that's a ounce an ounce is usually just convert ounces to grams so one uh, one ounce is basically 20 grams okay and silver is currently going at 35 dollars mm, cheap right so again wait till the price comes back down a bit and then consider so of course Perth Mint is I approve it it's legit uh, it's backed by the South Australian government you can totally trust it this is one place the second place is Australian Bullion Company again a trusted source uh, they're located in Melbourne so if you're in Melbourne you can go and have a look I don't know whether they're located in Sydney or in other states uh, just basically go you can buy gold bars again like these and you can buy coins as well so i would personally prefer buying gold bars um so you know you could buy gold coins as well whatever you like again the the trading at this price per ounce this is australian dollars and of course melbourne mint is also another company which is located in melbourne so you could go and buy physical gold in bars or coins whatever you want and of course melbourne gold company is another company that you can buy gold as you can see over here we have tons of products gold and silver for you to consider now what i want to say to you is let's say you bought gold all right now the problem with physical gold is that you know storage mm -hmm. Advantages would be there are no middlemen, no ASX is not involved, no JP Morgan Chase Bank, it's you and the gold. Alright, my precious. <laughs> so with, with, with gold, the, the question that you should ask is like storing is going to be a problem if you're buying a large quantity. Of course, you have the option of buying a safe through Bunning, so uh, some company that sells safes. Um, and you can just put the safe in your home and put the gold in. Again, if, you, if you're if you a student and you're clearly living at someone else's house, or either way, I personally don't think keeping gold in your home is a really good idea. If someone breaks in, you're gonna lose that gold. All right, but hey, you can do whatever you want. Some people like looking at their gold, so just, they just do that. The safest way that you can save gold Perth Mint actually do have a deposit, so you can just buy it and have them store it over there from what I know. And of course, there's a better way that I'm, that I'm, this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna buy physical gold when price goes a little bit lower. And then I'm gonna open a safe custody box, which is basically, I don't know if you guys know this or not, you could, banks do offer safe deposit boxes. So you could put your gold and silver and all this precious things to you in these boxes and store them away and you know in a bank it's more safer um, so I would personally uh, look into something like this so I'm on home bank website right now these are the prices you obviously have to pay an annual amount for them to keep this uh, your, you know your precious stuff in the bank so for a safety custody box, which is like a box that you put in the bank vault, uh, is $198 per annum. All right, so this would be the safest way possible for you to store your physical gold if and when you buy buy uh, bricks. So this is what I'm gonna do. All right, so that's pretty much it. And the other thing is liquidity of gold is really high so you can just anyway anytime you want let's say you want the, the money back you can just take your gold to any pawn shop in the world not in australia in the world and sell this, this gold and get money instantly so that's the other thing about gold unlike other metals gold is highly liquid all right so that's about it for the today's video guys i know this is long um I'm, I'm reason why i did it because you're gonna need gold and i'm personally thinking of adding gold to my portfolio so if you're someone like that i hope you found this video useful i hope you learned something from this i'm glad if you did please hit the subscribe button and the like button 
and put a comment below. Peace, have a nice day.